Hello, welcome to the Repair Specialist channel. So you've got your two-stroke carburetor and you're stripping it down to service and you remove the fuel screws to clean out behind them and you put them down on the table and ah, we don't know which one's which. We've mixed them up. Which one goes back into which hole? Well, with the two in this example, you can't go wrong. You can see the H and the low there are of different sizes. So that means, of course, that the screws are of different sizes. If we take a look there, we've got the one on the left it's fatter than the one on the right. So we know which ones these are going in. We just match up the big one to the big hole and the little one to the little hole and we're away. It's absolutely foolproof. All you've got to do is just notice the size of them if this is the case. So let's see a different example. Let's have a look what the fuel screws are like in this carburetor. Well with these they're both the same thickness so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to determine which is the high screw and which is the low screw. So in a situation like this I put them together in comparison. I try and stand them up like this so I can see how tall they are and any other differences I can possibly see in comparison anything at all. And the differences can be very slight. This one is shorter and it's got a thicker end than this one. As we've already established by the thickness of these screws the circumference of each fuel screw hole is exactly the same. So we need to look at something else. We need to look further, deeper into the holes. If we take a small torch and shine it down the screw holes, then we can generally see another hole right at the back. I've had to backlight these holes so that we can see it with the camera, but generally you can see them with a torch with a naked eye. So rather than looking at the outer holes now and the distance across them, which we know is the same for both, we're actually going to look at the hole at the back and the distance across that hole. And it's only very slightly different from the other side. So we've got to really look in detail. It might be best to do what I've done and shine a torch from this angle onto the carburetor to backlight these holes. But you can only do this if the carburetor's totally stripped down and the Welsh plugs have been removed. And looking closely, it can be seen that this hole is slightly larger than this hole. And this hole seems deeper set in. So if we take a look at these screws again, we've got the one there that's got a larger end and it's not so tall. And we've got the taller one here that's got a smaller end. So we have a real good idea now of which ones will fit in which. We'll of course put the shorter screw with the thicker end in this one and the longer screw with the thinner end in this one. So it's a case of seeking out whatever distinguishing features you can possibly find about the fuel screws and then matching them with the fuel screw holes inside the carburetor. It's as simple as that. And if the two fuel screws are exactly the same and there's no distinguishing features from the two, then it certainly won't matter which hole they go in. This process might not seem easy and straightforward, but remember this is possibly a last attempt to try and get your carburetor up and running again if you've mixed up your fuel screws. So I've put this video together to try and get your machine back up and running again. I hope you like it and please like and subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.